The Growth and Employment Strategy paper emphasizes on the elaboration of mechanisms that can help ameliorate living standards and also provide jobs to the youths. In the Ministry of Employment and Vocational Training, that option has been taken very seriously. It is in that light that the Minister of Employment and Vocational Training, Mr. Zachary Perivet, in March 2012, signed a 17 billion francs convention with the South Korean government for the construction and equipment of three advanced vocational training centers in Limbe, Douala, and Sangmilima. With the start of construction work, both partners have seen the need to make the endeavor sustainable. This is a logical destination uh, of our project because we are, as you know, we are constructing uh, three vocational centers and uh, uh, not only at, uh, training uh, students, we need a uh, place to train uh, teachers. This way we can make uh, vocational training sustainable because uh, tr the trainers should be trained and retrained and re-educated, upgraded their skills. So they can they go out to the field to teach students. Signing the record of discussion for the National Institute of Vocational Trainers and Program Development in the presence of several members of government, Zachary Perivet, and the ambassador of the Republic of Korea to Cameroon, Cho Jun Hyuk, maintained that it will go a long way in enhancing sustainable economic development and also in strengthening bilateral cooperation.